Let's talk about Weewarasaurus. Weewarasaurus was a type of rather small, approximately large dog-sized dinosaur that was found in what is now New South Wales, Australia during the late Cretaceous period, around 100 million or so years ago. And what's very interesting about this dinosaur, other than the fact that it's a pretty new discovery, is that the only known fossils we have are entirely opalized. Now, I've talked about the process of opalization in a bit more detail before, but essentially it is when a fossil is preserved in opal instead of another type of stone. And we only have two specimens of Weewarasaurus, and both of them have been preserved in opal. Both specimens found were located in Lightning Ridge, a place in Australia that is very well known for its incredibly beautiful opal deposits. Now, the fossils were actually discovered during a routine opal mining expedition, and they were sent to an opal dealer who recognized them as fossils, and thus the entire new species was discovered. Now, unfortunately, the holotype or first discovered specimen was actually actually broken in half, but as far as I'm aware, both halves were found. All of the specimens found were of jawbones. You can see up here, there's the opal part, there's the jawbone, and I'm pretty sure these are the teeth. The structure of the jawbone and teeth showed that the Weewarasaurus is a type of ornithopod. The ornithopods as a whole were small in comparison to other dinosaurs, herbivorous and bipedal, and likely lived in relatively large familial groups. And based on the structure of the jaw, we know that Weewarasaurus was one of these ornithopods and likely shared the same characteristics as ones that we as a whole, have a little bit more information about. Currently, all of the fossils are displayed in the Australian Opal Centre, which has the largest collection of opalized fossils in the world, so if you're in Australia, that sounds like a very cool place to check out. If you've gone there, let me know how it is.